Uh, okay, so, uh, so we start at uh, fee, uh, fee Okay. Uh, okay, maybe we start at uh, 10 minutes later to synchronize the, the schedule, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, because the host say that, but um, well, we can start now. So, so maybe I start first because maybe <laughs> I host that I can, I can, un, uh, I can under one my talk because uh, I did uh present this topic <laughs> within twenty five minutes actually. So I, so I hope that I can um, finish it in twenty minutes. Okay. Um, so my topic is that uh, to talk about the open source weather information project with uh, open step uh, object storage. My name is Sam Phones. And uh, first of all, uh, we would like to welcome to Hong Kong uh, on, uh, on behalf of uh, local open source and, uh, and also open stack communities. Um, uh, I'm a software developer which uh, use and develop, uh, uh, develop open source software. Um, I, st I start to use uh, open source programming language from Pell and then moved to PHP and then switched to uh, Python f uh, five years ago. And I have uh, my own startup work at, uh, to create uh, open source online job boards and also uh, doing some job with research and also web calling service. And I also um, to do uh, to do a much job to provide a consultancy work at uh, local internet service company, which lend the 40 feet global to deploy our, our OpenStack cloud service. Um, beside my work, uh, I'm, I'm also a uh, open source community leader in Hong Kong and Asia. Um, I am founding chairman of Hong Kong News Group and also committee manager of uh, Open Source Hong Kong. Um, um, in these two years, I start to contribute to uh, Acer communities. Um, I'm also a Geelong Acer committee member and Mozilla Web. And also, uh, I'm a program committee member at the uh, CONSCOP, which is the largest open source conference in Taiwan. And um, I'm also a blogger. Um, about these presentations, I present my uh, HKCO weather project in different uh, open source events and a conference in Hong Kong and Asia this year. So I think the last one is, uh, is in Malaysia uh, last month. Um, <coughs> sorry. Um, whether we <coughs> and whether information is my personal interest, um, I started, um, I also started an open source project called HKCO Weather. Um, um, in this talk, I will talk about my open source project as well as uh, how how should we select to how to store data in traditional database or in uh, or just store it on the cloud? Um, at my work at the ISP Forty Feet Global, uh, we use OpenStep, we use a uh, lower for the compute loops, and also we have a bot storage use keepers, and also we use a level king service. Quantums and maybe we will upgrade to Newton uh, in near future. And we have we also use a web-based dashboard or uh, horizons. But OpenStack is not just a platform of uh, virtual service; it's also a platform of cloud service. So I think we should do some education. So I submitted a, a proposal to talk about. Uh, use of uh, object storage in this talk. So in today's agenda, I will, I will quickly to go through what is open data and how to use open source in recurring and my open source project. And then we will talk about uh, use of open step object storage. So what is open data? So actually, we I called the two, uh, two persons to talk about, to define the what is open data. So actually, uh, open data 
it should be can be spied or indexed, and also it should be uh, available in open machine readable format. And also the the legal framework is allow people to repurpose or redistribute the data. So this what what so this open data, the definition of open data, and also the uh, inventor of the web team Berners-Lee also. Create, create a web with uh, five star data dot info. Uh, uh, it recognize people to uh, to to create more open uh, create open data. So once uh, one star uh, open data is that uh, to make your your stuff available on the web, and two star is uh, it should be in the such a data say Excel instead of image, and it should. Uh, with new use long proprietary format such as CSV instead of Excel to uh, to distribute your data is three star open data, and also four and five star instead uh, you can use some URLs to develop some some uh, some content or link and link your data to other data as well. So this uh, this this uh, uh, this this are data. Actually, low. This, this just an uh, image of uh, of a physical document file. So, uh, open data should be able to create something like this. Uh, people can create uh, can use some maybe JSON to collect with some data source to to uh, to get some data to uh, to uh, to reproduce the data in the better uh, uh, representations. So, uh, in weather information in Hong Kong, uh, Hong, Kong of, uh, or, uh, Hong Kong Authority provides an uh, hourly uh, Hong Kong weather report, uh, regional weather data in Hong Kong uh, in 10 minutes update, and also weather forecast and, uh, and the weekly weather forecast. And also, they provide a typhoon report and forecast, and also weather maps and image. But, ah, sorry. And this, this, the weather chart look like is actually an image file. And also, uh, weather, uh, weather winter uh, image is also an image file as well. But, uh, Hong Kong was uh, claims that they provide open data, but actually they only provide an uh, outages format of their weather report, like this. And the content of each, um, before it's like this, so, um, so, only one word to to describe this kind of uh, data is uh, is useless because it's just the RSS file only. Yes, yes, lot um, yes, uh, lot a kind of data I think because uh. For example, the, the temperature of different uh, region co uh, uh, regional uh, weather stations, it only use one uh, one uh, HTML tab or one uh, RSS description tabs to to uh, to call the whole report include all weather stations data. So it is not useful. So. With the data at the data one surface is just a report, is a lot of data. And technically, JSON or, or XML format is better readable by computer program. So, um, open data is important to citizens. So, I, I use uh, open source software to, in Recalent to collect some, da some useful data from those reports. So Recalent is a tally to extract information from websites. For it can be for the uh, business purpose, for for uh, hobbyist purpose, or for re research purpose. And um, in Recalent, we should look for wide URL to square and look for wide content from the website, and also save the data into data store. And um, we should consider when to one one the web scale program. So, I use some open source tools to collect some useful, uh, meaningful 
and uh, to and produce them into machine readable format. So at uh, uh, so we just need to wait for uh, data provider to release data in good machine readable format. So I use Python and rec uh, with regular expression library and also uh, use the Scapy uh, web calendar framework, which is written in Python. So why I use Python and Scapy is, th is because uh, Python is my favorite language. And also Scapy is a uh, quite powerful web calendar framework written in Python. Um, Scapy is a high level uh, web calendar framework which uh, you can use its API to extract subtitle data from their websites. And it also can uh, uh, store your data in, in different format and also to monitor and, and uh, the web calendar uh, po uh, process. So uh, for the Scapy, it built in uh, to to provide a, a selector to select and extract data for HTML, XML, and build in a JSON CSV um, XML output. And we can also you can use Scapy to uh, to uh, extract data from this kind of website, uh, such as uh, cable TV. Cable TV. Uh, Many years ago, they used a uh, Microsoft MIS MASP to to uh, to run their uh, web server. It's so very it's very slow, so it could not be collected at any peak hour. So I wired my first regular in in ten years ago, and also I also wired other regular such to uh, to collect data from the uh, bus. Bus company websites and also the from the uh, government public transportation and quarry systems. So, um, we can use this kind of tele to uh, collect more information, such as uh, Typhoon information. So, I have two products. One is WebHK, which uh, collects some information from the Hong Kong Authority and then we produce on the Twitters. Um, and this is interviewed by uh, Metropol, uh, uh, magazine distributed in MTRO four years ago. Um, and another project is TC Chat, which collect uh, information from uh, Hong Kong Authority and also uh, JTWC, which uh, which run by United States Army. Um, um, this. This is probably the first t uh, t uh, Typhoon chat map in Hong Kong using Google Map. And then uh, after launch of this project, uh, and other uh, popular uh, publishers website, which whether under Quant HK also used Google Map to port their, uh, their uh, Typhoon chart as well. And after that, uh, Hong Kong Authority uh, it's also using Google Map to port the Typhoon uh, path map as well. And also, I will reproduce data to the uh, data as well. So with this information to uh, citizens in Venezuela is, is very important. So after that, uh, after that, I create, uh, I started an open source project this year with HK Silver, uh, which uh, we, uh, is and to um, collect information from the websites and then release data in machine readable data format. So same is use Python and Scapy. Um, how to install it and download it? You can download it from my GitHub, and then you can use uh, you can use uh, five to six command to uh, to to set up your own uh, Python environment and then install the Scapy and then. Uh, download the uh, the source code from, from GitHub with with git con command and then just run this this get command and then you will get uh, you will get this re results. It is a JSON format. So they, this uh, format of, of the uh, this the data structure of, of the result and uh, this URL. 
Okay, I'll skip this quickly. Um, yeah, and then Scapy uh, use, uh, uh, by default, use, can, can use uh, MySQL code or SQL lib to uh, store the data. So, the solution one is that uh, I develop a web color and use Scapy with the uh, MySQL or SQL lib kind. So, at the back end, and also have another backend program to handle QV requests with Django. And at the front end, um, I do some UI or US design and then QV the backend server to get the data. So, but how about the image file? How, how, to, how can I handle it? Um, how, how about the redundancy of the data? So, this is a lot of uh, good solutions to my project. So, um, in the infrastructure uh, as a service, um, we can use a public cloud such as Westbay or AWS to uh, to one to uh, to deploy my project, and also we can use a public cloud or such as OpenStack to deploy my project. And in IIS, uh, we we have uh, different uh, open uh, we have different uh, object services in Amazon. We have uh, S3, and in Open Source in OpenStack we have uh, Swift. So, how about uh, use OpenStack data uh, object storage? Um, first of all, uh, when we develop our application software, uh, we will develop the front end. Uh, application and also the back end applications. Yeah, and um, for the web application, the front end is that uh, we uh, we decide the UI and also use that chain for the display your application on the web browsers. And um, for the mobile, is that you design UI or use that chain at the mobile app. But at the back end, you also need to handle JSON or REST QV. So in the solutions one is that, um, the problem is that how can I uh, handle those uh, image follow or redundancy problems? So uh, if we use uh, OpenStack Swift as the alternative solutions, so I can uh, develop a web color to use Scapy with a uh, Swift client, and then the back end I can use the uh, I can handle the QV request with Swift, and then front end just uh, just send a solutions one, just decide UI and use exchange and and send the QV to the back end. So the image, uh, the problem of image file and the problem of redundancies uh, are 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 solved in these solutions because. OpenStack software or or OpenStack provider already provide the open uh, provide the object service. And the um, and the Swift uh, the object type can be from the uh, can be a uh, standard data such as uh, integer or string, and also it can handle image. Or video files and it supports uh, SV APIs, and, and it, sub, it, uh, it support REST API get put delete to for the application developer to access the data stored on the storage through the uh, HTTP, and it's easy to uh, add capacity uh, unlike uh, way resize. You just type a command and then add a list new storage to the wing. Um, the Swift provides uh, the, uh, data replication as well, and it's a lot uh, it's lot a central database, and it also can collect with uh, memory cache to for the data caching. And uh, in Python, we have uh, some uh, Swift clients, uh, uh, OpenStack Python Swift clients, and, uh, and also other um, Swift uh, cards as well. So, uh, in the open in the solutions tool, 
uh, to uh, work with uh, OpenStack Swift uh, at the web color size uh, to store data in the Scapy. Uh, we just write a piece of code uh, to uh, collect with Swift and then uh, to do some uh, kind of augmentations and then create the objects that means data in uh, containers and then store data as a stock uh, uh, the data sets are uh, integer or um, strings into a JSON object and then for those uh, weather map or uh, uh, render image which uh, those image file can be st stored as an uh, image object and at the back end um, we can handle we can write a program to handle KOV with Swift so the program can uh, uh, only need to collect with Swift and then um, to pass the uh, account of uh, authentications and then we shift the objects from the container and we turn the, uh, the object URL and then the, the web applications can, can easily to get the data, the JSON data or the image file easily through the HTTP protocol. So the in this solution, the advantage is that um, we can replace my SQL and use uh, Swift object storage for part of or all data queries. Depends how you uh, store the data in the Swift object storage. And we will use uh, OpenStack public cloud, maybe provided by Westfail or other uh, OpenStack cloud providers. You don't need to uh, do uh, database server installation maintenance yet because it handled by the public cloud provider already. You only need to uh, set up a VM instance and then install the 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 SCAP and us uh, and the backend uh, uh, service. You on, you have already done the installations. And in the open step uh, public cloud, uh, you can use own server farm. Maybe in a large organization, you got a uh, chain or hundred or thousands um, uh, uh, server farm. You may um, use your own server to deploy open step, and then you don't need to config the replicated database system. You don't need to to set up a replicated MySQL server, you only need to set up the Swift in the replicate configurations. And the dis dis disadvantage is that uh, somehow it's difficult to do complicated kill with to the S to SS data, and data should be stored in well defined um, structure in Swift. So, um, Define the syntax of file name of for the JSON data and image file. Maybe, maybe when when you write the um, when you store the uh, data in JSON format to Swift, you may use the uh, the timestamp as the uh, as the file name of the JSON data, and also the, the image file as well. Um, in open stop public cloud, um, um, you need to learn how to access data on Swift because uh, I think uh, uh, I think uh, many developers in Hong Kong don't know how to uh, how to write a program to uh, to access uh, any kind of uh, object storage. Um, in OpenStack public cloud, um, we need to install and config and maintenance the, the OpenStack Swift uh, object uh, service is that uh, it's not easy to install Swift, but after you install the Swift successfully, you, uh, you will be easy uh, access the data. So lastly, uh, I think that uh, because in this uh, 20 minutes, 
uh, we only can introduce uh, the ideas of the how to use uh, how to develop programs with uh, uh, open staff technologies, but how to use it, okay, yes, it's quite difficult to to learn how to use it for the local developers in 20 or, f or half hour. Um, so I think uh, we may organize uh, local hands-ons open step workshop, which uh, local app developers and company can learn how to use open step, such uh, how to deploy, uh, how, how can they try the open step with try step uh, at their own servers or own notebook maybe. Um, um, yeah, and um, how can they to use uh, use which as well? Um, so uh, yeah, so thank you.